sa worker. Sabi niya, Chris, hindi dito. Ikaw ang mag-imix ngayon. O sige, boss, ano ba? O sulat mo to. 5 kilos sugar, 10 kilos cream, 10 kilos buko, 5 kilos sugar, 10 kilos cream, 5 kilos buko, 10 kilos milk. Kuha mo? O, boss. So, parang ano, no? parang 10 kilos sugar. O, sige, yun. Pag tinutan mo, umalis na si Aaron. Ginawa ni Chris. O, sabi ni boss, 10 kilos sugar, 20 kilos cream, 15 kilos buko, 10 kilos milk. Kinasolidate. Paglabas ng ice buko, hindi tumigas ng ice, hindi kulay buko, as in, in edible siya. It's disgusting. Kailangan itapon yung lahat ng finished product. Aaron failed to connect with Chris. The first key is always communicate clearly. Even when serving our clients, alamin natin, ano ba talaga yung way of communicating nila? And practical step here is speak their language. For example, may data tayo mag present kay client. For some, okay na sana yung table and numbers. But for the more visual, better convey a message to a pie chart or graph. So, communicate clearly. clearly. The second key is about the story of Caesar the Secret. At one point, Caesar was lost. He felt so empty, so depressed. And he heard from one of his friends. And there is this sacred place on a special island in that sector of that certain country. Immediately, Caesar traveled there. Pagdating niya doon, punta siya sa pier kagad kasi kita niya na yung island para gumili ng ticket. One ticket please. One language. No, 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 no. No, no ticket. Ticket for later? No, no, no. No ticket for later. Ticket for tomorrow? No, no, no. No travel. Ikita ko na eh. Sabi ni Cesar. Ayan na. So, ginawa niya. Pumunta siya sa shore. He talked to a couple of fishermen. Could you bring me to that temple? No, no, no. no. Not allowed. I'm praying to that temple. Okay. Kinabigyan siya. They went across the water. Then, pagdating sa kabila, umakit siya kagal bakit doon sa island. He was very excited kasi finally, makikita niya na yung hinahanap niya. Then halfway there, may nakasalubong siyang umuman. Sa Leopold. Sabi niya, no, no, danger. Punta sa cliff, may tinuro yung umuman. Pagtingin ni Cesar, you are armed men. Para nakapandana na sa bangka, parating may daggers, and my long guns, immediately kinabahan ng Soul Brasil. Ano ba itong pinasa ko? Then he turned around and he ran down the hill kasama niya yung woman. Pagdating niya sa dulo, nakita siya ng parang police barrier. Wala siyang pakailam. Help, help! Sabi nung police officer, English na, Halt, stop! Who are you? Sabi ko niya, I, I'm, a, I'm a traveler. I'm, I'm going to the temple. Please, my passport. Please help me. There are armed men there. So yun. Nadala siya ng mga police officers sa ferry para makapalit na sa kapila. And then the police officer told him, You are lucky. Because we closed this island recently. Because there were our rebels in the area. They are killing people. At that moment, Cesar felt at peace. He went home because he found what he was looking for. He was able to connect again with his spirituality. But he had to go through this series of obstacles, challenges, and be courageous enough. So the second key, so sorry, connected with his faith, and the second key is go beyond the usual. This is especially important in serving a clients. We have to go beyond the usual in serving a clients. We have to be 100% there even if we don't feel like it. Like Cesar, when he felt, felt so empty, so depressed, he had to get up and make the best effort to do something. Practical step, give your best even if you don't feel like it. Even may cold ka, upo, inyalagnat ka, give your best even if you don't feel like it. 
The next key is about the story of Professor Kendrick. Professor Kendrick is an IT 